Okay, next uh, uh, subtopic is types of microtomy. So, it, uh, various types which we use for making thin sections of the tissues. Main types uh, include rotary microtome, cryo microtome, ultra microtome, laser microtome, other uh, modifications that are also present, uh, but generally these, micro these types of microtomes they are used. Use uh, depends on the material under study and the nature of work which we want to perform. Simple studies uh, generally involve a rotary microtome, while detailed studies they may involve uh, some other microtomes like ultra microtome or like scan like laser microtome and so on. Uh, similarly, uh, cryo microtome that involves sectioning of the frozen uh, tissues. Now we will discuss two main types of the microtomy. Uh, one is uh, rotary microtome, and later on we will discuss the uh, ultra microtome as well. Rotary microtome, as the name indicates, uh, here rotary action involves the sectioning process at pre at predetermined thickness on every rotation of the flywheel of the instrument, and this is the most common type of the microtome which is used. A blade which is used here is fixed at horizontal position. The sample holder that moves the sample ahead by the fixed distance for cutting the sections. Like we discussed earlier on that uh, we can fix the thickness of the sections on the microtome before uh, this process. So, if we fix that uh, 10 micrometer sections are required, then this sample, this machine uh, will, uh, I mean, the sample holder will move the uh, sample by 10 micrometer uh, after every rotation. The flywheel of the instrument may be automatic or it may be uh, manipulated manually. Uh, and the section thickness may vary from 0.5 micrometer to 60 micrometer. micrometer. So, sometimes we need thin one, thin sections, while at the same time we need thick sections. Then is ultra microtome, as the name indicates, it is used for making very thin sections and their thickness may vary from 40 nanometer to 500 uh, nanometer. So, uh, it varies according to the type of the study which we want to perform. And you, this uh, technique is uh, mostly used for biological uh, samples, but can also be used for non-biological samples. For example, uh, these uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, studies or some other type of studies. Linear thermal expansion that moves the specimen at a regular interval according to the thickness which we fix on the, on the uh, microtome. The sections which are studied in uh, which are obtained, they are studied then in uh, transmission electron microscopy or scanning electron microscopy. And the cut sections uh, which are uh, produced, they, uh, they are produced on, they are produced in floating uh, condition on the top of some liquid surface. And these uh, floating sections, then they are mounted on some sport like copper, nickel, gold or some type of other material grid. And then these uh, sections, they are studied in, uh, you know, uh, ultra microscope and a dif different types of other microscopes uh, for their detailed structure. 